Remember last year when you brought that new computer home? You did the research, you compared everything, and you're playing games on the best value for your money. Well, that seems kind of like the distant past at this point, and you're wondering what exactly happened to my baby? Why'd it stop running so great? It's not like I bought a hunk of junk. Why has it degraded in performance so much? Is it because computers are inherently going to do that? Is that a fact of life for a PC gamer? It doesn't seem to happen to console gamers, and they play those damn things for decades after they're out of date. This computer's only a year old. Why is it acting like this? It didn't used to sputter like this on these same games I was playing a year ago. Does the hardware degrade? What's different? Why is it not working the same way it used to? Well, hey, take a breath. It's not as big a deal as you might think, and it's certainly not uncommon. And today, Game Ranks wants to alleviate that confusion and answer the question for you. Do computers get slower over time? Okay, let's start with something basic. What do you use your computer for? I mean, besides games. Depending on your age, you could be doing homework on it, and you could be doing your taxes on it. You might do AutoCAD work, data entry, research, or you might be a popular fan artist on Tumblr, and other people your age go reblog crazy, while the lady doing her taxes goes reblog crazy as well. You definitely browse the internet, because otherwise how else would you be here? And that means your cache is full. That's your temporary internet files in case you're an internet explorer user. You're probably not though, says statistics. Meanwhile, what do console gamers use their game consoles for? It's alright, I'll give you a moment. Okay, that's long enough. Pretty much just games. And maybe Netflix, but that's streaming video, and games have utilized video since forever. Why does this matter? Well, a game console is designed for something. Something very specific to play games. And a computer is a general purpose machine that is designed to accomplish as much as it can at a favorable or acceptable level of performance. Don't mistake this for me saying that a PC is not as good as consoles for gaming because it very much is. Technically speaking, it is objectively better. Psychologically speaking, it's called taste. Liking PC gaming or liking console gaming better, it's up to you. It doesn't make you better, and it doesn't make you worse. As I said though, if we're talking about technical things, it's better. Especially if you know what you're doing and create your own computer and gear it towards gaming. But does having a specific purpose actually affect whether or not it's better over time? Technically speaking, no. Psychologically speaking, once again, it can depend. For instance, are you the type of person that installs browser toolbars? If you are, it's time to stop. I mean, it's not just browser toolbars I'm talking about, but really stop doing that. Over time, you install software on your computer. Whether or not that software is legitimately useful, it's debatable. I'm not going to talk about that, there's no judgment involved here. And whether you're installing legitimate software or illegitimate software, sometimes software runs something in the background. It may be a service, or it may be the program itself waiting in the taskbar to get activated, running in some kind of quote-unquote low power mode mode, to put it the best way I can. If you simply turn your computer on and play games and that's it, there's no way for this to affect you. Like if you built a steam machine and you hooked it up to a nice big monitor and that's all it does, you turn it on, Steam OS comes on and you start gaming, there will never be degradation, at least of any noticeable amount. I mean eventually new games will overpower the amount of hardware you have, it may take a decade, but the phenomenon we're talking about in this video will not occur. But for some of us, it's not practical to build a machine specifically for gaming. Part of the allure of a computer is you can get so much done with it and also play games. In fact, many people use that as an excuse to get a computer from their parents. The point being that your computer is likely a home for more than just video games. And as you install more software, more of it may be running on your computer at any given time. For instance, my computer is constantly syncing things to Google Drive. That means it's reading a file, so my hard drive is being accessed and a small amount of my RAM. And if that thing is sinking and I try to play a game, there's no point. I have to close that. So to sum this part up, because the computer is a multifunction machine, you use it for more than one function. At least you can. And if you do, there's a pretty good chance that over time, you're going to have stuff running in the background that just wasn't there when you bought the computer. And depending on what you install, it could be a lot of stuff. And it could be very memory heavy stuff. And you actually can do something about this. It's different on various operating systems, but there's always a list of programs. See if there's anything in there that you don't 
don't use if you just installed it because you thought it would be good or that you might use it. Get rid of it. If it was running something in the background, it now can't. The other thing you might want to do is open the task manager and go to processes. I like to arrange the processes by how much memory they're taking up, and by memory I mean RAM, not hard drive space, and see if there's something that's really eating up my available RAM. Almost every time I've seen a degradation in quality on my computer, it's because a lot of things that took up a fair amount of memory were running. Well, you can stop them right here, or you can identify them and uninstall them. Or now that you know what program it is, you can open it up, get into the options, and stop it from opening when the computer starts up. As I said, you're not stuck. You have options. There are things that you can do. And I would say that this is by far the most common reason why a computer would seem to be much slower than it used to be. You're running too much stuff. And you may not know that you're running too much stuff, because you may not be using it at the moment. But it may be doing something. And that's not sneaky or anything on their part. I mean, it can be, but most software that does this is legitimate. There's certainly a lot of software that embeds itself in the background that isn't legitimate, and for that, I'd recommend a malware scanner, which can also do a whole lot in improving the performance of your computer. But the main thing that I want to get at here is that your computer's hardware hasn't degraded over time. It's not really your computer at all. It's actually you. What you or your family or whoever else uses your computer has done to it, or more specifically installed on it, either on purpose or accidentally, is probably why your computer seems slower. It's why you're seeing more dips in frames per second. It's why that loading screen might be on there just a little little bit longer. And like I said, you can do something about it. Something you can't do anything about that may have the same effect though, is new versions of software. The reason why is that new versions of software are often optimized for more hardware. A lot of the time, especially with online games, you're required to have the most recent version of it. Some software is the same way as well, and so is Microsoft Windows. You never really know when they're going to introduce a new tool that you don't really see running, but has a hand in everything that's going on. I'm not going to say that Microsoft Windows is going to suddenly install something that will significantly decrease your performance. But again, over time, you may see a lot of upgrades on a lot of your software that just starts nickel and diming away that performance. It can happen. That's just the nature of computers. Mainstream computers are not made specifically for video games. And people take advantage of that. I mean, right now, you're on YouTube surfing the internet and watching videos. And while you could be on your phone, I'm guessing you're probably on your computer. Especially if you've got gotten this far in the video. You're not playing a game. I mean, you might be, but you're probably not. You're thinking about it, though. And if when you switch out of this video and start playing games, you want the best performance, it's probably a good idea to be aware of what's running on your computer. And if you've been experiencing some slowdown lately, that's probably how to fix it. Hey, so do you have any further advice for others who might be experiencing this type of problem? Or even just a question of your own? We do have a comment section, and we encourage you to put all of that stuff in it. Also, if you do us a favor and click the like button, it helps us a lot. If you aren't subscribed to Game Ranks yet, it might be a great time to do so because we upload brand new videos every single day of the week, and the best way to see them first is a subscription. As always, we thank you very much for watching this video, and we will see you next time right here on Game Ranks.